a reading passage role. And the title of the today's reading passage is A Remarkable Beetle. Beetle means Kira. So after reading the title of the passage, we have to go straight to the question section. Questions 1 to 5. Do the following statements reflect the claims of the writer in reading passage 1? Yes, no, and not given. Question number one. Bush flies are easier to control than buffalo flies. So bush flies is the keyword. Buffalo flies is the keyword. And easier to control is the keyword. And the bush flies go buffalo flies ki nisbat control karna asan hai. The word there is used to make a comparison between bush flies and buffalo flies. Ab agar reading passage mein likha wa ho ke bush flies ko buffalo flies ki nisbat control karna asan hai to it means Question number one, jo hai, wo yes. Hai. Agar reading passage mein likha wa ho, ke bush flies are hard to control than buffalo flies. Yani ke bush flies ko buffalo flies ki nisbat control karna mushkil hai. To phir question number one, jo hai, wo no hai. Or agar reading passage mein is tarah likha wa ho, ke buffalo flies are easier to control than bush flies. So, फिर भी क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 जो है वो क्या है नो है क्योंकि इसके मुताबिक ये होगा कि बफलो फ्लाइज को बुश फ्लाइज के मुकाबले में कंट्रोल करना आसान है और अगर रीडिंग पैसेज में बुश फ्लाइज और बफलो फ्लाइज के درمیان कंपैरिजन शो ना किया गया हो तो फिर इसका मतलब है कि क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 जो है वो नॉट गिवन है सो बुश फ्लाइज इजीयर टू कंट्रोल एंड बफलो फ्लाइज are the keywords in the question number one. So first of all, we have to find the bush flies and buffalo flies. And after that, we have to find the comparison between these two. So bush flies and buffalo flies. So we have found the words bush flies and buffalo flies. Then we have to read the paragraph. More than 4,000 species of these remarkable creatures have evolved and adapted to the world's different creature climates and the tongue of its many animals. Australia's native tongue beetles are scrub and woodland travelers specializing in coarse marsupial droppings and avoiding the soft cattle dung in which bush flies and buffalo flies breed. So in this paragraph, we did not find any comparison between the bush flies or buffalo flies. Or in other words, we did not find the words like easy or even the word like difficult or hard so we can say that the question number one is not given question number two four thousand species of dung beetle were initially brought to australia by the c s i r o so 4,000 species is the keyword, dung beetle is the keyword, initially brought to Australia are the keyword and CSIRO is also a keyword. By dung beetle, by dung we mean the droppings of the animals, yani ke janwarun ke fuzilat. And beetle means kira or insect. 
initially brought initially brought means ke shuru shuru mein laaye gaye kahan par laaye gaye to australia yani australia mein shuru shuru mein laaye gaye it means agar australia mein shuru shuru mein laaye gaye to brought ka jo synonym hoga reading passage mein wo hoga imported यानी कि 4000 हज़ार अकसाम के जो डंग बीटल थे वो शुरू शुरू में सी एस आई आर ओ जो है वो ऑस्ट्रेलिया में इम्पोर्ट करके लाया या लाया अब हमने इसका जवाब तलाश करना है क्वेश्चन नंबर टू में क्वेश्चन नंबर टू का पैराग्राफ में सो द फर्स्ट की वर्ड is 4000 species but in the reading passage we have found the world more than 4000 species it means more than 4000 species means 4000 aksam se zyada but in the question we have read 4000 species yani ki exact 4000 aksam so it means that the answer of the question number 2 is no and if we try to find the words australia c s i r o then we can say that c s i r o is written here australia and then again we have found the word c s i r o imported imported means brought insects insects means dung beetle 50 different species so if we read this section of the passage csiro suggested that the dung beetles should be introduced to australia to control dung breeding flies between 1968 and 1982 csiro imported insects यानी कि 1968 और 1985 के दरमियान सी एस आई आर ओ ने कीड़े लाए फ्रॉम अबाउट 50 डिफरेंट स्पीशीज 50 मुख्तलि अकसाम के सो इट मीन्स दैट इन द रीडिंग सेक्शन वो यू हैव रेड दैट द स्पीशीज वर अबाउट 50 वेयर एज इन द क्वेश्चन सेक्शन द स्पीशीज वर मैंशन अबाउट फोर थाउजेंड so it means that the question number 2 is no question number 3 dung beetles were brought to australia by c s i r o over a 14 year period yani ke dung beetles jo australia mein c s i r o laya kitne arse mein laya 14 saalon ke arse mein यानी कि चौदह सालों के अरसे में सी एस आई आर ओ ऑस्ट्रेलिया में डंग बीटर्स लाया सो डंग बीटर्स इज द की वर्ड ब्रॉड टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज द की वर्ड सी एस आई आर ओ इज द की वर्ड एंड द टाइम पीरियड इज अ फोर्टीन ईयर पीरियड दिस इज द मेन की वर्ड सो लेट सी इन द रीडिंग सेक्शन csiro is mentioned here for the word brought it is written imported for the word dung beetles the word insects is mentioned between 1968 and 1982 the csiro imported insects from about 50 different species of dung beetle from asia europe and africa aiming to match them to different climatic zones in australia so it means the time period is between 1968 and 1982 and if we divide 1968 from 1982 then the time period will become about 14 years so we can say that the answer of the question number 3 is yes Question number four: At least twenty-six of the introduced species, 
یعنی کہ چھبیس جو متعارف کیے گئے کیڑوں کی اقسام تھی ہیو بیکم اسٹیبلشڈ وہ پھلنے پھولنے لگی وہ آدھی ہو گئی ان آسٹریلیا آسٹریلیا میں سو دی کی ورڈ از آسٹریلیا بیکم اسٹیبلشڈ اینڈ ایٹ لیسٹ ٹوینٹی سکس آف دی انٹروڈیوس اسپیشیز We have found the 26 species here. By local environment we mean Australia. And then again we have found the word Australia here. Of the 26 species that are now to have become successfully integrated. Successfully means kamyabi ke saath. Integrated wo adhi ho gai, zam ho gai. into the local environment مقامی محول کے اندر یعنی کہ چھبیس جو اقسام تھی نا وہ بڑی کامیابی کے ساتھ مقامی محول یعنی کہ اسٹریلیا کے محول میں بڑی کامیابی کے ساتھ زم ہو گئی یا وہاں کے محول کی آدھی ہو گئی تو it means the answer of question number 4 is also yes question number 5 the dung beetles cause an immediate improvement to the quality of a cow pasture. Dung beetle fori dor par betri ka sabab bani to the quality of a cow pasture, a cow pasture ki quality pe. Cow pasture means moveshu ki chraga. Yani dung beetles jab introduce ki gai in cow pasture mein to phir us pasture ki betri kya فوری طور پر سبب بنے so the dung beetle is the key word immediate improvement is the main key word in the quality of to the quality of cow pasture so we have to find the cow pasture dung beetles and immediate improvement اگر dung beetles جو ہے وہ cow pasture کی فوری بہتری کا سبب بنتی ہیں reading passage کے مطابق تو پھر question number 5 جو ہے وہ yes ہے اگر ڈنگ بیٹرز جو ہیں وہ کو پاسچر کی بہتری کا سبب تو بنتی ہیں لیکن کچھ سالوں یا کچھ عرصے کے بعد یا کچھ مہینے کے بعد تو پھر قویسن نمبر فائیو جو ہے وہ نو ہے اگر ڈنگ بیٹرز کا بھی ذکر ہو اور کو پاسچر کا بھی ذکر ہو لیکن کو پاسچر کی فوری یا تاہیر سے بہتری کے سبب کے بارے میں کچھ بھی نہ لکھا ہوا ہو تو پھر قویسن نمبر فائیو جو ہے وہ ناٹ گیون ہے So we have to find the word pasture, pasture is written here, then again the cow pasture is written here, and in these lines we didn't find any kind of time limit of improvement of the cow pasture. Introducing dung beetle into the pasture is a simple process, approximately 1500 beetles are released. A handful at a time into fresh and cow pads in the cow pasture. So it means the answer of question number five is not here. Then the cow pasture is written at the end of this paragraph. So in time they multiply. Multiply means unki abadi mein zafa ho gaya. And with in three or four years or three se four saalun ke arse ke dauran the benefits to posture are obvious gai ki ya mavishyon ki chira gai ke liye jo khawai thai wo yakini ho gai it means dung beetles ki wajah se gai ki jo chira gai ya mavishyon ki jo chira gai thai us mein pethi to aai thai lekin three se four saalun ke arse ke dauran It means the answer of the question number five is no.